we want a point uh, five units to the left of B. Five units to the left of B, and let's figure out where we're going to put B this time, just to kind of give you some practice. And we're going to stick it in exactly the same place. One, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And B is going to be the same place as it was before. Just our initial starting point of the problem. So if you were told five units to the left of B, how would you do that? Well, to the left means you go to the left. One, two, three, four, five. And you landed on negative three. So the answer is negative three. And that's where you would land. All right, now let's do one more. This one's a little bit, uh, it's not harder. It's just, you know, a little different. Uh, we want a point that is three units to the left of the point C that I'm going to put here on the number line for you. All right. And let's say zero's here, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Now C, let's say, oh, and let's don't forget these, one, two, three, on and on forever. Now let's say point C is located right here in negative one. So the question is, what point is three units to the left of the point that we've labeled here? So you start at the point you have and you go three units. One, two, three. And you've landed on negative four. So that's the answer. So, you know, these aren't really problems that you're going to, you know, solve, you know, world hunger with. I mean, they're not problems that you're going to really design the next spacecraft using. It's, but it's building that foundation because you need to be able to graphically in your head understand, okay, the positive numbers are going one way, the negative numbers are going the other way. And when I'm adding and subtracting, really all I'm doing is I'm sliding up and down this number line left and right, because that is what you're doing. And then as we get more practice in the future sections with doing it, you're going to actually dispense with the number line. You're going to keep it just so you understand the concept, but you're not going to be doing your adding and subtracting on a number line. I mean, that would just take all day. Let's do one more type of problem just to give you a little more practice. Let me draw first a very long number line. So I'm going to start way over here and I'm going to go all the way across straight as I can, which I know is not very straight. And this is zero. And let's go ahead and write them in black. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And over here I'm going to have negative one, negative two, negative three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And to make it clear, I'm going to label it like this negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, negative ten. The only reason I wrote it like that is just because if you write them all together, it kind of gets cluttered. But it's the same thing that we've done before. So let's label some points here. Let's say A is at negative seven. So I'm going to put A right there. Let's say B is at negative three, right there. Let's say C is at zero. Let's say D is at 3. Let's say E is at 7. And let's say F is at 10. All right, so we have these points. I mean, there's nothing significant about them other than I just put them there uh, as, a, as a label. So what I want to know is I'm going to ask a few questions. And the first one is going to be, uh, what is the distance? between D and E, the points D and E, the distance between the points D and E. So anytime you're given that, you need to locate the points, obviously. D is here and E is here. And the distance between them basically is what you're looking at is, it's, you're only counting the number of points that separate those two, the number of, of units, I should say, between those two points. That is the distance between them. So the distance between D and E is here. And so the easiest way to do it is just to start here and count. One, two, three, four. So 
distance of 4. Okay, now the next one, 